Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to set up a Terraform environment with VMware vSphere. So what I am having in my environment currently, you can see it. I have a VMware vCenter running it. It has the data center. It has created a cluster. Okay. It has two hosts there. Now what I want it, I want that okay, the VMware vSphere provider blocks must be initiated and authenticate against this vSphere get the information about the data center cluster host networking and then we will be able to provision the virtual machine that is the objective so what i did it if you see it here i have created multiple files tf files here okay so the first file which i am going to discuss is the main.tf so main.tf it is having the information about the vSphere provider block in the vSphere provider block when you log into the vSphere console it asks for the vSphere IP address that is you provide in the browser as you can see it here okay inside the browser I provided the vSphere uh, IP or maybe host name then it asks for the username and password and definitely SSL uh, allow SSL whether it is true or false okay so these things will be asked to you so we are creating the provider block and inside the provider block I am defining the variable uh, like vSphere dot uh, vSphere underscore user vSphere underscore password and vSphere underscore server this information my user has to provide it now since it is the variable we will be writing the variable dot tf file also inside the variable dot tf file I will be mentioning it what are the variables and what are kind of values they are looking for it okay so where dot tf file is there you can see that variable vSphere dot underscore user it is a string type then password and it is sensitive true because password is always protected and then we spare details okay we have not provided any default values so if i go and initiate it it will be prompting for that thing so when i want to provide this thing dynamically we have multiple provisions there i am using tf var file for that purpose in the tf var file we are mentioning it what are the username and other things which i am mentioning it terraform TF uh, var file. Okay. So TF var file will be containing about my vSphere detail, vSphere login, and vSphere password. Okay. All these things will be going here. Now, if I run the command Terraform, apply, it should show me if I am connected everything, it should show me the details, or otherwise, it will not give any error message because the things are perfectly designed. Okay. This is the first thing we are going to run it. see it is reading all the information so that itself proves it that things are working fine okay i'll just say yes because i'm just destroying the resource which i have created it for the demo purpose so i'm just destroying the virtual machine which i have created it okay now second part is started once you have done this particular thing now what you will do it we will be seeing that how to fetch the information which is already there inside the vCenter. So fetch the information in the sense, the data center information, then the data store information, the networking information to create a virtual machine. So always remember, when I want to create a virtual machine, uh, you go to the vCenter prompt and try to create a virtual machine. So when you go and create the virtual machine, you know what are kind of information a virtual machine will be looking at. So next I will do it, it will ask for the data center. This is the first information it is asking and the name of the virtual machine. Without that, I cannot proceed it. Then it is asking that which host or cluster I want to provision it. So I need to select that host or cluster. So this information also, I need to provide it. Then I'm doing next, it is asking which data store. So data store means where exactly the files of virtual machine must be created. That also I need to select it. Then compatibility, by default, if you don't mention it, it will automatically go over this thing. Select the guest OS, that also is asking. So while you going to create the virtual machine tf file you need to mention that host operating system and other things okay once you go that once you complete that stuff it will be asking for the customized hardware so here also you need to select some linux flavor you cannot skip this options then we'll go and select the next it is asking for the customized hardware like cpu memory hard disk size network of virtual machines and all this information so as a summarize of this session, what, what I when I want to create a virtual machine, I need to provide the information. What is my data center name? What is my ASXI host name? 
which operating system I want to install it or maybe uh, the operating system compatibility. Accordingly, I will be selecting it out. The hardware information like CPU, memory, networking, these I need to provide it. So whenever you want to write any kind of resource file or resource.tf, always remember go and create the resource manually so you know what is the required parameter. Now we know that the required parameter information is there. I'll just show you what I did it here to explanation purpose. So I have created uh, a data.tf file. This data.tf file is containing this data.tf file is containing the data center information. Okay, this is the data block of Terraform. It is reading the information. Then it is getting the cluster information, data store information, networking information, and host information. So these all information, why I need it? Because as I shown you that when I want to create a virtual machine, I need all these details maybe in full in uh, virtual machine creation. Now I'll just show you the virtual machine creation file, which I, which I designed it. Okay, that is your name of the thing is I think vm.tf okay so here you can see the resource that is a de defined definition of virtual uh, Terraform vSphere virtual machine that is a defined resource okay this is internally how Terraform will call it as I mentioned name correct then data center data store resource pool id like cluster and all this thing okay then CPU memory and guest id network interface disk size Okay, and other information like thin provision and all these things are coming. So all this mandatory block, which I designed it while I copied your, while I pull the information from the vCenter, all this information will automatically go and it will start creating the virtual machine. Okay, you can say that, okay, why you are providing the cluster ID? See, data sent, if you can use the data center ID directly or you can use the cluster ID. But one of the information must be provided. Otherwise, it will not able to select the host itself. Okay, so resource ID is there. Data store ID is there. Data store, basically where the virtual machine files will be deciding it out. Guest ID, like OS version and all these things. CPU and memory, disk size, and network. All these things I have defined it. Now I'll go and do the Terraform apply. Okay, I'll just go and do the Terraform apply and you see that okay or maybe I run the Terraform plan only you'll able to see it that how the it will go and read the things okay it is telling required log one second the destroy part is still learning it I'll just go and control C okay so let's run the command Terraform plan now okay this will show you that uh, what exactly it is going to do it is going to add one virtual machine Okay, plan itself is showing it. And the virtual machine name, you can see it. Since I have provided test VM as the name, the test VM name will be coming here. Okay, this is the name of the virtual machine. Yeah, you can see the name of the virtual machine and other details are coming. If I go and apply it, you will be able to see the virtual machine will be created here only. Okay, so let's go and apply it and see whether it is running it or not. Terraform, apply. I do that thing. It will prompt me that uh, whether I want to create it. It will again show you the plan output, which what exactly how many resources is going to add or change or destroy. So currently we are adding one new resource. So it will be reading. It is telling one to add and I say yes. It will start creating the virtual machine. What is telling it? test VM already exist because I already created it. So that's the reason. Okay. So uh, I'll go and destroy and then again try to recreate it. It will show you. Okay, so I'll just go and destroy it from here. Maybe this is a privilege issue. Okay, one out. Delete from the disk. Okay, I need to power off. Sorry, my bad. I need to power off the VM. Okay, power off. And then I try to delete it. Because the virtual machine is power on, it will not allow to destroy it. Okay, so... Even this thing, I will run it. It will show you, show, show you, okay? But still, I'll delete it from here and then try to provision it. So let's see whether our automation is working or not, okay? I'll delete it. Now let me go and run it, control, because apply.
so it is reading and now it is telling one to add you can say zero to change zero to destroy i just do it okay so now it is creating the virtual machine and you can see it here the virtual machine is created so this is exactly how you can go and provision the environment i will be sharing the tf file with the content only i will be removing the username and password other than that i will be sharing all this thing thank you for joining this session thank you